Welcome to the second module of our course on circumpolar innovation. In this module, we're looking at something a little bit more specific. The question is, what is the role of government in national innovation and regional innovation? Innovation is basically operates through what's called the triple helix model. How do you bring together three core elements to promote innovation? The three elements are government, a business, and the academy. You have to bring those three groups together working on the opportunities of the 21st century. In this class we're going to explore what I describe as the innovation equation. It's a very simple thing. Univers governments around the world believe that innovation comes from mixing these things together. Expand post-secondary education, expand basic research, um, basically have a process of commercialization, and the outcome will be jobs and prosperity. Governments around the world have invested trillions of dollars in this idea of the innovation equation. It's really an exciting but very simple model. But here's the problem. Everybody's doing the same thing. And is something innovative if you're copying what everybody else is doing? Will you actually stand out from the crowd? The second question which we're going to deal with in this module is really important. Where does the North fe feature in national innovation strategies? When Canada, Finland, Sweden talk about, Northern, about innovation in their countries, are they even thinking about the North? Do they have a specific sort of strategy or plan for the unique challenges of the North? So in this module we're going to look at what national governments are doing to make themselves innovative and prosperous in the 21st century, and we're going to come to a very sad conclusion that in very few cases are they paying any attention attention at all to the specific needs and opportunities in the circumpolar world.